Hey guys, what's going on? Luke here, and today I'm just bringing you a updated version of the best settings for fraps and what you can use to get the best quality, the best file size, and the just basically the best settings for you to actually do and use. Now, the last one of these I did was around nine months ago, and I just wanted to bring you guys a bit of an update and just before I start I'm going to be uploading a bit more have a special video that I am in the middle of at the minute so yeah, look forward for that also if I sound a bit weird I have got a cold but I'm trying to hide that as much as I can while I'm doing this video but yeah anyway let's get started so on the general tab what I usually have is just ticking the box of fraps window always on top and then say you want to record your desktop you click the monitor aero desktop w d w m and that will record your desktop as well but as i only usually do this for gameplays and gaming wise videos then i don't usually have that on moving on to the fps tab now I keep this benchmarks folder exactly the same as well as the benchmarks hotkey. The benchmark settings I tick the box of FPS and I usually have an overlay in the top left hand corner which isn't shown in the video I don't think. And that just basically just shows my FPS for what I'm getting at that time and it helps me just keep track with that at, like on Minecraft say if you're playing that game if you press F3 that will show your FPS but with fraps if you have the overlay on then you can see your FPS while recording and that usually does drop drastically I, I usually get 180 FPS on Minecraft and when recording it's more like 60 so it does go down by quite a lot now moving on to the movies tab which is probably one of the most important if not the important one the like main one you choose your own video capture hotkey mine's print screen just because that's a button that you don't really use and if you print your screen you can it's basically just an image you don't really need anything about that so I just choose a unused key and then for the video capture settings, most people will have theirs on the 60 FPS, but there's this uh, fourth dot at the bottom, and I put that as 120, which is the very much you can get. That would just improve your FPS slightly. I also have it on full size for the best quality. And now, guys, I am sorry if you can hear my computer in the background. I honestly, it's the AMD FX 8350s. Uh, stock fan, it is so loud. Honestly, don't know why it is that loud. And this mic seems to pick it up all the time. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, and then the loop buffer length is 999 seconds. And don't click the split move every four gigabytes because you want it to be one file. It is quite a big file, like 30 minute videos, like 33 gigabytes. But if you split the move every 4 gigabytes, that would be tons of files that you don't really want. Now for the sound capture settings, you want to go and choose the record Win 7 sound and put that on stereo. As well, if you have a microphone and you want to record, say, your voice, then click record external input and then it should come up with your connected device. Now if you only wanted to capture your voice or any, yeah, if you only want to capture external input when pressing a certain key then uh, click only capture while pushing and then choose your button and then every time you hold that button down then you speak every time you don't want to speak you let go of that button but I tend to just have it off because it's a bit much more like it's more hassle for you to do and then these ones I have lock frame rate while recording which just means it's more of a it's less fluctuated FPS, it's more close together, you have a better average, like, because it could be like 80 FPS one second, dip down to 20 the next, it's, 
Whereas if you lock the frame rate, it will always be around your a good FPS, let's say. You can also hide your mouse cursor in the video, or you can force lossless RGB capture, but this may cause it to be slower and take up more RAM and CPU power. So I have those two off. And then for the screenshots, BMP or JPEG or whatever you want, and then a screen capture key, which is F10. Also, you can include frame rate overlays and repeat screen capture every so and so seconds. Movies tab is the main one that you need. Also, the FPS tab might help. And the general tab, not really, but yes, the movies do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.